What's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift because Torque Drift has given us another big update. We have an E21 stock car. We have Road Atlanta and we have a new pro car, which you can see doing donuts in the background that of that E21 pro car. And we also now have superchargers available, which is going to change some tuning aspects on a lot of cars. People have been asking for superchargers, so we do have it today. So we're going to take a look at some of that new content here for today here on this update video we do have that pro car the e21 wide body um that thing looks nasty we did pick that car up so we did also get the stock e21 which we are going to be doing a build on today not today on another episode we're going to be doing a build on that in a later episode do we have body kits for it oh we do we do have some wide body kit for the e21 so we will be taking that out and doing a build on that in a later episode as well as taking a look at superchargers which let's take a look here parts let's see are they in we have turbo there we don't have any supercharger oh Ooh. well there's a hurricane manifold rarity locked Maybe it's not available for this car or this engine, but we do have them available in the game. So we're gonna go take a look at Road Atlanta. We're gonna take a look at the new E21 Pro Car. Now, I do not see, we do not have a tandem set up for Atlanta, but we will go take a look at Atlanta and have a little fun on the track tandeming ourselves. So it's definitely cool to see Road Atlanta here, one of my favorite. FD tracks and uh, one of my favorite tracks to drift on in games as well as I've been on it in real life so this pro car we're gonna throw it in the fourth and uh, we're gonna throw a quick flick initiate in very shallow initiation on that curve but we were able to keep it very shallow there we're gonna have to get another run on this and running this way trying to get all the way up the hill a very shaky first run here at road atlanta so we're gonna give it another shot and we are gonna try and see what we can do do a quick flick in hard flick there there we go we did miss that inner clip, but we are able to bring the car out over the bump into the horseshoe. Bring ourselves back in. Transition out, very shallow there, so not the best lead run. But we do need to do some fine tuning probably to this E21 Pro car. So we're going to try and chase it down, and then we're going to bring out one of our cars to run Road Atlanta. So definitely cool to see Road Atlanta here in the game, just in time for Pro 2 tonight and Pro tomorrow pro qualifying is tonight so let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to win pro 2 who do you think is going to win pro definitely uh there's a lot of oh forgot i slowed down definitely a lot of eyes on that uh 14th place qualifier adam lz who qualified 14 is going against um I believe that orange brz 286 Cyan FRS in round one of the top 16 of Pro 2. So I know a lot of eyes are on him. Um, very less than favorable conditions last night for the Pro 2 qualifying. It was kind of interesting to see all the zeros take place. If you guys didn't watch that, make sure you guys check the live stream back of it. It was definitely insane. So I think we're going to bring out the S14 and uh, run that S14 here on Road Atlanta. Haven't run this car in a minute, so we're gonna see what we can do with it. Do initiate in, a little flick entry. Get on that clip, transition. A little wide on the clip. We're almost in the grass. Handbrake that to bring ourselves out, but cut ourselves back in. I do love Road Atlanta. Definitely got that transition just in the nick of time for two drivers were having some uh, issues with that transition. It's sad to see um, the, you know, Torque Drift, Link Management, uh, 370Z, not qualify 
he did double zero unfortunately but like i said you know less than favorable conditions so i'm sure he'll be back in round three with vengeance so we're gonna try and chase ourselves there and uh see what we can do here and then we're probably going to take that e21 pro car into some tandem battles and see what we can do with it against some other people i was a little bit slow on my uh slow on my takeoff but we're uh trying to bring ourselves back in and breaking out our own door cutting ourselves in with our s14 Car has a little less grip because I ran out of uh, Nexon tires, so I ran that really wide. So Roadland is here. Definitely going to be wanting to get some tandems with everybody. Hopefully, can do a live stream on Roadland. That would be pretty sweet. So we're going to go back into the thing and see what kind of uh, kind of tandems we can get into. The other thing I did notice, and I think it's a pretty sweet thing, is they have FD Japan and FD. Or link management the uh, drift games extreme and it shows when they're starting in two days starting in eight days and FD Atlanta qualifying is starting in seven hours so it is kind of cool to see that I'm very curious what that's gonna be so I'm gonna be definitely uh, taking a look at that when it drops so let's see what we can do we got to go back into events what do we got we got Ebazoo, we got the bridge, and we have Hidden Path. So we're going to hit Hidden Path. I did run this in my um, E46, but we're going to run it in that E21 and see what we can do with it here for today. So if you guys are liking the updates that Torque Drift is bringing out, definitely let them know in on their Instagram and stuff like that. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think about it. Definitely super excited to be a part of the game. And big thank you to the devs for bringing this out. Um, I've heard rumors of some big things happening from the devs. I'm not, uh, not sure if I'm able to talk about it, so we're not going to talk about that right now. Unless they allow me to talk about it, I will not. Because I don't want to give away any spoilers of upcoming content to the game. I know they're working on some more pro cars. And uh, one of them that I know that they talked about on the Instagram was uh that of one of my favorite drivers forced wing they are working on getting forced wings car into the game so that would be sweet and definitely will be uh picking that car up for sure because forced wing is one of my favorite fd drivers in the pro division uh too much, too much angle there I'm gonna run this nice and tight on there getting as much close call points as we can to try to salvage a run i should have ran wide but where i was gonna totally biff the wall so eighty-four thousand. Definitely need to do some fine tuning of this car. It's, uh, it's a little bit shaky for me right now, so I gotta tweak it, tweak the suspension and the angle. I don't think I have full angle kit on here because we do have that angle kit sponsorship that gives us some uh, more angle in our angle kits. Oh, oh wow, we just used the cone and almost ate pretty much hungry, hungry hippo in the back of that guy's car, and uh, he went. Sailing, and we are far back. We're gonna try and catch up a little bit. There we go, back into the tandem circle. I'm gonna try and uh, get as many points as we can through the later part of the track to ensure a W on this. I do love this BMW. It's a sick vintage style car, and uh, well, it's awesome to see it in the game. Some more BMWs in the game for us. So, we are gonna be doing a build on the stock one. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are on the description box below. I believe we took the win on that one. Yeah, we did. So we're going to try and run this one more time here for today. A little short update, video update for you guys on today's Friday. Happy Friday. Let's hope you guys start the weekend off right. Well, you got FD tonight. You got Pro 2. So we're definitely going to start the weekend off great. You got Pro Qualifying and Pro 2 tonight as well. Or, yeah. And then tomorrow we have Pro, which is uh, definitely awesome. And Pro 2 is at night. So hopefully, I haven't seen many cars running underglow. I know, you know, some of the Pro cars do. They should be running underglow. I rode Atlanta with the, uh, you know, being at nighttime. So I know, I believe Alconadale has some underglow. 
a couple of Pro 2 guys do. I don't believe many of the Pro cars have Underglow. They should. Come on. Pro Underglow is cool in drifting. Oh my, that's not cool in drifting. Don't send yourself into the wall like that. So, hey Turk, if you're listening, we get Underglow. We get Underglow options to put on some of our cars. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Underglow, come on, that's so overplayed. But in the drifting aspect of it, it's actually kind of cool to have just, you know, because it illuminates the smoke different colors and stuff. So maybe we can get some Underglow in the game. I don't know what you guys think. Do you, would you guys like to see Underglow in the game? I know I would. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm a, you know, a little bit dumb for whining that in the game? But maybe, uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. So we're going to try and chase this out to finish this episode here for today. And uh, just, a, like I said, a short little update video showcasing Road Atlanta. Oh, really hard angle. We are going to have to do some major work in the chase if we're going to want to come out with a win on this one because we were not, we got bested in the lead. We're going to try our best here. We totally jaked it into that wall. Come on, there we go. Trying to transition as much as I can, trying to get as many points. Kind of got pinched out down there. I don't think we're going to be able to take the win on that final door dive to end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. We were still able to take the win with our chase. All right, we're not going to go do that again because uh, we've got some other things I want to do today. So, like I said, just a short little update video. Road Atlanta here at Torque Drift. Bigger uh, videos coming out on Torque Drift doing a build on E21, showcasing Road Atlanta again as well with some uh, tandems, maybe some live tournaments. So make sure you guys stay to the channel on Instagram. Like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.